What if there's someone else in this room other than you? Ah! Who's here? The weekend is a great excuse to go through the mail. So, what do we have here? Bills and ads? Nothing interesting. But this letter looks very unusual. Let's open it right now. A plain envelope. Yellowed paper. Dear Melanie. Oh, this letter is definitely for me. I never got the chance to say goodbye to you. By the time you read this, I'll be gone. Take care of my mansion. It holds many secrets. Well, well, well. A surprise invitation. Who is that? A caring billionaire relative? Or an old man with an inheritance? Or a twin sister who got separated from me at birth? Ooh, they even sent me the keys. Melanie's not shy. She makes up her mind. She'll visit the mansion. Why not check out a new place? It's on the outskirts of town in the middle of nowhere. Too bad there's not a word about that in the letter. But it's too late to go back. Let's go. What a huge house. Hmm, it looks abandoned. No windows, the paint's peeling, no lights inside. It's not really a luxury property. And I had such high hopes. Wow, the house isn't empty. But the residents are from the other world. That's right, Melanie's going to have to stay at a haunted mansion. It's also a good thing she can't see them. They don't even seem very friendly. It's time to get inside since it's getting really cold out here. It's dark and gloomy. Careful, it's all covered in spider webs. Old photos in the frames. I wonder who all these people were. I think I'll stay in this room. If you ignore the cobwebs and dust, it's really cozy. Oh, I'm so sleepy. It's been a busy day. And tomorrow will be busy too. Melanie thinks the bed is very comfortable. She sleeps like a baby, but she's not alone here. Didn't anybody tell this ghost that it's not polite to go into the room with a sleeping woman? He's smiling, but clearly he's up to something mean. He's a prankster, trying to tickle Melanie. Who's there? She wakes up, except she can't see ghosts. Waking up in an empty room after getting tickled is creepy. Oh, I must have been dreaming. Time to look around. Let's open the curtain so it doesn't look so gloomy in here. What do we have here? Achoo! That's a lot of dust. Pictures, some old things. A whole jewelry box. This is clearly expensive. An old book. It's been a long time since anyone read it. I want to liven up this dark room somehow. It's a good thing Melanie brought her favorite things with her. But someone clearly doesn't want her to feel at home here. There's another ghost that came to bother Melanie. This lovely lady clearly wants to ruin her plans. It's so mean to hold books so Melanie can't go through the box. Okay, I'll let you go. Oops, that hurt. The ghost is happy, her prank worked. Is there a poltergeist in here? Do ghosts like flowers? Probably not. The ghostly lady in the gorgeous dress is up to something. And it probably won't be a nice surprise. There's a brush in her hand. How does she do that? That's the power of the afterlife. The ghost colors the rose petals. All done. Now she can choose a place to hide and enjoy the prank to the fullest. Melanie sees fresh flowers. She approaches the roses. She is so naive that she's not even wondering where they came from in an empty house. Mmm, that smells good. That's what happens when you don't pay attention. What's that? Blood? <gasps> she might pass out. Yeah, get some rest. Who's there? Am I seeing things again? It's just paint. I should wash it off. This is a very strange house. It's time for a snack. Let's learn more about the residents of this house. There's an album. The ghosts are right there. Haven't you had enough pranks for today? They can't stop. What's that? Ew! Disgusting maggots! A little ketchup for enhanced taste. It's a very strange recipe. Only real foodies will like it. Ah! 
of the ghost isn't happy with this situation. What kind of people are you? Ghost, to be exact. We agreed on no more than two pranks a day. Seriously. A drum, a guitar, a violin. What's with this weird group of musical instruments? Hmm, I see. The ghost decided to make some noise. <sighs> Melanie got really scared. How is that possible? Instruments playing by themselves? The ghost band is back. The ghost can't be stopped. Too bad you can't see their amazing performance. Run away, out of the room. Or better yet, out of the house, forever. All right, just calm down. Breathe, Melanie, breathe. I thought it was all in my head. This is a nightmare. Don't panic, I'm just imagining things. I have to get back in the house, it's cold. The ghost clearly likes Melanie's company. I'll wait for her here. She can't see him, so she goes to bed. Using a ghost as a pillow? That's so sweet! Just be sure she doesn't see you. But she isn't very comfortable. This pillow is kinda lumpy. But the ghost is in no hurry to leave. I think he fell in love. Just because he's invisible and cold doesn't mean he can't feel warm love. It's awesome to have an art room in the house with an easel and paints. Ugh, so many spider webs. Maybe art can help distract you from the strange things that keep happening in the mansion. What would you like to draw? Here comes the ghost in love. Would you like to model for her? Stop trying, she can't see you. Hey, stop it. We're going to create a real masterpiece. In the meantime, put some paint on the palette. What's he painting? We hope it's something decent. He's not off to a good start, but he's doing the best he can. The ghost is proud of his talent, but Melanie's not thrilled. Soon, she'll start to think she's going crazy. She covers up the mess. Then the ghost decides to tell Melanie how he feels. Hearts on canvas, better than a thousand words. But not when these hearts appear out of nowhere. It's so creepy, so scary. What's going on? I need to paint over this and forget. Oh no, the ghost is sad. He's so pitiful. Poor ghosty. Look at these old photos. Are these the former owners of the mansion? How interesting. But she's not feeling up to it right now. I should tell my friends about this strange place. And the ghost decided to get Melanie's attention again. This silver balloon is a good idea. Look, it's levitating. No magic, only an annoying but loving ghost. Melanie can't trust her eyes, and she is looking for some kind of logical explanation. It's just a regular balloon. It's not flying anymore. Honey, you can experiment all you want. You won't be able to do it anyway. Time to look in the attic. They say it's the scariest part of any old mansion. But it's not so scary, just full of spider webs. Turning the lights on would be great. What a beautiful lady in this painting. I wonder who she is. And this jar is definitely not full of jam. I'm too scared to even open one of those. Wow, a treasure chest. Oh, Melanie is so curious. Some kind of jewelry. A statue. Nice stuff, but it looks very spooky. And there are more pictures. Who are all these people? And there are some familiar faces in this picture. No, don't take the glasses. Put them down. The mystery is solved. The glasses let you see dead people. It's not a sight for the faint-hearted. And not all the ghosts are happy with Melanie's new skill. Oh, looks like passing out <sighs> is becoming a habit for Melanie. Do you believe in ghosts? 
Would you have the guts to live in a haunted house? Let us know in the comments! Like this video, subscribe to our channel, and be sure to click on the bell to be the first to find out how Melanie's friendship with the other side will end!